Hi, so here we have the 9x9 car cage modular mattress feature and basically right now we have three inputs and we have the in one, in two and an HDMI cable from the Xbox from this side and another two is connected to the old plate from these two laptop and for the output right now we have two HPSD output and the yellow line cable which is to have this mattress feature connect to this Apple PoE switch so here we have two LAN cable connect to the 2K pad so this is the setup for the mattress feature side if we go along the way to the two workstation on this side so here we got the workstation one basically we have a HDMI or plate this is the HDMI cable from this uh, Windows laptop then we have this LAN cable which is for the input one and this is the old plate we don't need the extra power supply because we can get the power over the CAT6 cable from the mattress feature this is the first k-pad and we can see this is the uh, IP address for this k-pad and we get the PoE power from the Apple PoE switch so with this one and this is the receiver so this is the HPSD receiver then we have this one also the output one from the HPST, then connect to this one, then we have this one, connect to this monitor here. So now we already program this keypad. With this keypad, basically we can just do it. So switching, because we see on the mattress feature we have three sources. So that means if we press the buttons, we can get the source to this monitor. So MP1, which is from this laptop. and input 2 which is from this PC and the input 3 is from the Xbox so right now we have three inputs basically we can see we can do the switches and also this keypad with the PoE we don't need the extra power supply so this is the workstation 1 and the workstation 2 is going to be on this side so it's going to be the same we have a keypad here this is the IP address for this keypad and we're using the same gateway but different IP address It's from this, this is the uh, second source Then the old plate transmitter also same to the input 2 And this is the receiver Then we have H this is the CAT6 cable Then we have this HDMI output to this monitor on the wall so now what I'm going to do is we're going to do this keypad for the source switching. So we can see right now we if we switch the source one, which is from this PC. And we can see and with these two keypad, we only have this keypad to control the source switching for this monitor. It's not able to switch to other displays. So if we switch to the input source two, is from this MacBook. We can check it out the first monitor it's not changing but if we back to this one it's what it changed to the source 2 and so 3 is from the Xbox source 1 from the Windows PC so this is the 2k pad to country each k pad to country only in the source switching for this uh, TV it's not able to switch to for the other TVs. Since this one we have 10 buttons, so the last two button we can just uh, set up to turn off or turn on the beep sound. Like right now, if we do the switching, we can hear a beep sound which is come from the mattress switcher. But if we don't wanna hear this beep sound, we can just have this one to turn off the beep sound. So if we do the switching, we cannot hear any beep sound coming up. So this one we can just turn on the beep sound. Then we can hear if the matrix it, it respond or not. Okay, so each workstation we only need like uh, three LAN cables, one from the K pad, one for the O plate, and one for the receiver, then HDMI output to this. TV. 
So this is the uh, simple setup for this 9x9 modular mattress switcher with two keypad to control the system and each keypad only to control each monitor. Okay, thank you.